In this lesson, you will learn how to find the combinations of a set of elements. So we need to define our terms. What does combination mean? Well, a combination is simply a collection of things in which the order does not matter. So the key word here is collection. That is different than permutation, because permutation is an arrangement in which the order does matter. So an example of this would be Levi, Marvin, Nelly, and Olivia are trying to make a group of two. And the question is how many unique groups can be made? So with a group of people, it doesn't matter the order in which I pick the group. So the possibilities that I have could be Levi and Marvin, Levi and Olivia, Marvin and Olivia, Levi and Nelly, Marvin and Nelly, or Nelly and Olivia. So we have six options. But it doesn't matter if I pick Levi and then Marvin, or Marvin and then Levi. The order does not make a difference. So yes, we could list all of the possibilities out like we just did. But the objective is to get to the point where I don't need to list them out, but I can use mathematics to get my solution. So here what I do is I think, okay, I have two people I'm choosing. One, two. And for the first person, I have four people to choose from. Levi, Marvin, Nelly, or Olivia. So I have four people I can choose first. And then with that same person, I now have three options to pair up with that person. So what I have is four times three or 12 possibilities. But now we have to take into account the fact that the order does not matter. Meaning I could pick Marvin and Levi or Levi and Marvin. It does not matter the order. So I divide out the repeats. And if we're picking two people at a time, the ways that we can arrange those two people would be two factorial. So I divide by two factorial, or two, which gives me 12 over two, and my solution would be six. Now, just like with permutation, there is a quick way to write this, and that is by using the letter C. So here the four, means we have four people to choose from, and two means we're picking two people at a time. And a C means combination. So that is just like permutation, the only difference is permutation has a P, combination has a C. And we can read this in English as four choose two. So yes, we can say four C two, but many times we would say four choose two. So calculating these combinations, we could go through the process that I just showed you, or we can use factorial like we did with permutations. So notice with combinations what we have. We take the four factorial, and then we take four minus two factorial, and then we take another two factorial right here. And notice that's basically identical to permutations. Permutations we took the four factorial, and divide by four minus two factorial. So notice we have all of that right here. But the difference is this two factorial. And that is when we divide out the repeats. So we divide out the repeats because we have two people that we're choosing and we have to divide out by two factorial to account for those repeat people. So when you calculate this, four factorial and then two factorial and two factorial in the bottom, you'd get 24 on the top, 4 on the bottom, which would divide to give me 6. So either way we want, we can list them all out, we can go through the other process, kind of like with permutations, or we can go through the process here with factorial. So make sure you can kind of think through all three of those different methods. But obviously the listing out of the people or the groups will not be the best method of solving. So in general, we can say that ncr would equal n factorial, so this number factorial, divided by, then take the r factorial, and then subtract n minus r and make that a factorial. So now looking at a very similar example, where now we have Levi, Marvin, and Nelly, but not Olivia in this case. So we have three people that we're choosing from, and we're still trying to make groups of two. 
So yes, we could list them out to get groups with Levi and Marvin, Levi and Nelly, and then Marvin and Nelly. But our objective is to do this without having to list everything out. So we are choosing from three people, and we're taking two at a time, and we're making groups of people. So the word group would signify that we are doing combinations, and we have three, choosing two at a time, so we can write this as 3C2, which means 3 choose 2. And mathematically, this would be 3 factorial over 3 minus 2 factorial. And then divide out the repeats, so we have divide by the 2 factorial. So when you solve this, you have 3 factorial over 1 factorial, and that's just going to be 1. And then 2 factorial down here. So you solve this, you have 3 times 2 times 1 over 2 times 1 which would leave me with 3. Here's another example where I have 8 individuals running for 3 student body offices. And the question is how many unique groups of individuals could I have? So once again we see the keyword groups. So it's going to be a combination. We have 8 people. We're choosing 3 at a time. So the way to set this up would be 8C3. And then mathematically we can write this as 8 factorial and then divide by 8 minus 3 factorial so that part is just like the permutations but then divide out the repeats so divide by 3 factorial so I have 8 factorial over 3 factorial times 5 factorial when you multiply everything out the 5 4 3 2 1 would cancel with 5 4 3 2 1 here 3 times 2 is 6 so the 6 would cancel with the 6 up there leaving me with 8 times 7, which is going to be 56. Another question might be, in how many ways can a committee of 5 be chosen from 7 teachers and 6 students if all are equally eligible? So here we're dealing with groups. So the keyword group is not used, but a committee is a group of people. And we have 5 people and we're choosing from a total of seven plus six students to give me 13 options total. So what I have is 13, I'm choosing five at a time. So I can set this up as 13 C five. And then to solve this, we take 13 factorial, divide by 13 minus five factorial, and then divide out the repeats. So I divide by five factorial. So this gives me 5 factorial and 8 factorial for the bottom. I can multiply this out, and we can use the calculator if we want, but we can simplify a little bit first, where 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 would cancel on top and the bottom. And then on the bottom, we can start canceling things as well. Uh, 5 and the 10 can cancel, I'm left with 2 over 1. And then the 4 can cancel with the 12, I'm left with a 3 over 1, and then the 3 can divide with the 3, and the 2 can divide with the 2. So what I have now is the 13 times 11 times 9 for the top. When I multiply those, I get 1,287. Here we have a similar example. We are creating a committee, so once again, keyword group, and that's going to be a combination and we have a committee of five to be chosen from seven teachers and six students as well if and the committee must include two teachers and three students so what we have is actually two scenarios we have the five is kind of irrelevant for this problem because that is built into the fact that we have two teachers and three students and two plus three is five right so then teachers we have seven teachers to choose from, and we're choosing two teachers at a time. So for the teachers, we have seven choose two. And for the students, we have six students to choose from. We're choosing three at a time. So that can be written as six C three. Now because these events are not exclusive, meaning I can have both occurring at the same time, I'm going to therefore multiply those two answers together. 
Another way of thinking of this is we have two teachers and three students. So the word and would signify that we are multiplying. So then we solve 7C2 and then 6C3 and then multiply. So 7C2, we would have 7 factorial over 2 factorial, then multiply by 7 minus 2 factorial. And then for the other one, I can take the 6 factorial and then have the 3 factorial, which divides out the repeats, and then have 6 minus 3 factorial as well. So that's going to leave me with 5 factorial and a 3 factorial when I subtract 7 minus 2 and 6 minus 3. And then from here I can solve where for the first one I have 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the top and then 2 times 1 and then 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 on the bottom. This can cancel the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and the 2 can cancel with the 6 in the numerator. So I have 7 times 3 or 21 for the first number. And then the other one I have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and then 3, 2, 1 and another 3, 2, 1. The 3, 2, 1's can cancel and then I have the other 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6 and the 6 can cancel with the 6 up on the top. So over here I have 5 times 4 or 20. So my answer is going to be 21 times 20 which equals 420.